Hey, I saved enough money at the Ford 04 Flea Market to buy this Ferrari. More bargains, more giveaways, more fun. The Ford Oglethorpe Flea Market is open under new management. Come in and register for a $1,000 giveaway. Win a dinner for two with limo service. Win tickets to area attractions. The Ford Oglethorpe Flea Market is the place to be. If you're looking to make some money, rent a booth. Sell your stuff and become a flea market vendor. Rent now and get special incentives that make it easy. The Ford Oglethorpe Flea Market on Highway 2A. Open Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 6. Bargains, bargains, bargains. The Ford Oglethorpe Flea Market. There's a lot, you know, there's all kinds of different waters, different brands. You can you can pick some, all kinds of different brands. You can go to Sam's buy it cheaper if you want to buy it cheaper, but do you know where it come from? I mean, actually, in the future, maybe we might even film the place where the water came from. You know, that's something people don't do. Yeah. No. You know, they, you know, you want to see what you're drinking, but, I mean, if you taste it, you know, water's water. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm I'm selling water, and I want water to to to, to be sold you know, as he'll be. It's good and it's safe. You know, mm -hmm. it's safe, and I've been there and I've seen mm -hmm. it, and you know, and uh, you know, like I said, look at my teeth. <laughs> my, <laughs> but, uh, well, I'm back now. I saved enough money to buy this Lamborghini. Bargains, bargains, bargains. No matter what you're looking for, no matter what you need, you'll find it at bargain prices at the Fort Oglethorpe Flea Market. Over 200 climate control booths filled with jewelry, produce, tools, toys, art, antiques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, and more. So shop where the bargains live. It's fun for the whole family. The Fort Oglethorpe Flea Market, now open Friday 10 to 6, Saturday and Sunday 9 to 6 on Highway 2A. Bargains, bargains, bargains on Fort Oglethorpe Flea Market. Oh, I have to say that you saved the best guest for last. Well, yeah, we did, didn't we? This is Lamar's secretary. Hey! Hey, you're, ain't you ashamed of that? No, I'm not proud of it. It is good water. That's water I ever drank. Yeah. Well, everybody's going to say naturally she's going to say that. <laughs> he, he, he didn't pay me to call, really. <laughs> no, you did this all I just told her I was going to be on tonight, so that's up to her what she called. Yeah, it is good water. I don't know of any... Democratic uh, president that ever stole the furniture out of the White House. <laughs> I, I, and I don't know of any Republican that did that. So, you know, that's pretty bad when the President of the United States is setting the example of stealing furniture out of the White House. You know, that's, that's a really. That'll knock your hat, hat in the creek big time. <laughs> but you know, he's flaunted. He, he was a crook right up. He's flaunted himself in front of the American people, done just about what he wanted to do. Right up to the very end. Right up. And uh, if we don't, if we, Pardon if I'll wait. Huh? Pardon me, I didn't hear you. Pardon. Pardon? Um, oh, pardon me. Okay, pardon you. <laughs> What'd you do? How much do you want to pay me? And I'll pardon you. <laughs> Go ahead. Depends on how much you got before I can pardon you, sir. <laughs> how about a, a sitting room? A theater, home theater? Would you give me a home theater? <laughs> I like to have a home theater. I like to say this. That there's a question about uh, who this person is now. Uh, I don't know who this may be now, we can all, you know, and, <coughs> you know, <coughs> I want everybody to see this. Uh, this, uh, there's a question of who this may be, and who is this? I mean, who is this? Is this a local TV talent? Or is this, is this uh, Clinton in disguise? Or is this uh, Jesse Jackson? Who is this person? Could it be Judy O'Neill? Could it be Mary Burkhart? Who is this person? Does anybody out there know who this person is? I'd like to know. It favors kind of like Judy O'Neill a little. It looks a little. It smiles like her. And then again, it looks kind of like the mayor, except without no mustache. And then it could be Jesse Jackson without a mustache. Or it could be Clinton. It's a possibility it could be Clinton. 
Because he's smiling because he knows he done stuck it to everybody. Could be Tommy <laughs> It's not Tommy Owens. We know it's not Tommy. It's not me. But it could be. I kind of think it looks like Judy O'Neill. <laughs> Lord it's between G.D. O'Neill and Mary Burkhart, I know for sure. <laughs> Which one do you think it is, Brian? Do you have an opinion, sir? Is there anybody in the audience can tell me who that was? Judy O'Neill. That was Judy O'Neill. Now, we got one vote for Judy. She's got that damn me that's twin twin right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me get another vote here. Well, I'm not, let me finish this. Okay. Lincoln said, he told the South, if you give us 40% tariffs, you can keep your slaves. And that's on the record. Thank you. You're welcome. Who, who would say who that was? Put that back up there. You know, we got to know who this is. Who is this? Does anybody know who this is? Come on, let me know here from you. Who is this, folks? Who, who do you think this is? I think it is a chimpanzee. No, I think it's a person. That ain't no chimpanzee. No, I definitely think it is a chimpanzee. You don't think it's a chimpanzee? <laughs> I think it's more of a orangutan. You don't know the difference between the orangutan and the chimpanzee. But I think it's O'Neill chimpanzee. O'Neill orangutan. O'Neill orangutan. <laughs> that could be O'Neill orangutan or Bill Clinton orangutan. It's hot. You need you a cold drink. Nothing wet your whistle like hillbilly water in the big old jug or the itty bitty bottles. You can find it pretty near everywhere. Fetch you some home today.